This little film is po following Paul Gauguin to Pont Avant, which is very close to where we live. I'm not sure if I like his paintings or him very much, but I love Pont Avant. It's a lovely little town. With a port, lots of boats, and lots of things to draw. So here we are, me and my faithful art hound Coco, wandering around the little town where there are some very interesting houses. Notice the pruned trees of France, a herald of springtime. So we've parked the car and we're walking along beside the port, where this boat is called Le Belle Angile, which is the same name as a painting by Paul Gauguin, which was of one of the cafe owners who had given him credit and was considered to be the most beautiful woman in town. However, he produced this by way of payment. She wasn't very happy and refused it. Probably never gave him any more credit either. So this is going over the rushing river to try and find the places where he painted some of his pictures. One of them was looking back along the port. I think it's changed a lot since he lived there which is about 120 years ago. Apparently there were 14 houses and 15 mills. It's a very busy milling town because of the river, the Avon, I presume, that runs rushing through the whole town. And this is one of the mills. And from this position, by the mill here, was when he painted one of his more f famous pictures of Breton washerwomen. He must have stood just about over there by that wall, I reckon, to paint this. You see the little ladies washing in the stream? Okay, well, here's the intrepid artist, me, going into the middle of the river to find a place to sit and sketch. These are lovely big smooth boulders in the middle of a racing river. So I'm going to settle down here and get out my trusty pen and my moleskin sketchbook and begin some work. This is what I usually do, is find a spot and sit down and do some sketching. While I'm sketching, I'm trying to note down all sorts of things about the place, the feeling of where I am, what I'm feeling at the time, the sounds, the smells as well as obviously the shapes and forms of everything that I'm seeing. I'll take a couple of pictures for colour reference a bit I suppose and shapes and to add to the collection of notes I've already made. And you can see how uh, fast flowing the water is. This is what I'm drawing, the, the mill race. After some hard drawing, we have to sit down and have a bit of artistic refreshment in a cafe. One of the perks of the job. So back home, I start painting. I work on a, a black ground, that, which is, this is a gesso board that is painted black before I start it. And then I'll mark out in chalk the basic shapes. So here I am filling in the white whites and the black blacks, except they're not black, they're just dark and we're blocking in some of the basic background now. Shapes of the houses and the big shapes of the trees really before any details go on. Um, so I'll fill that bit in there with the various greys and purples that I can see. We've done a bit more here and we'll start um, working on the water. There's fast flowing white water beyond the ridge of the weir and build up the, the tones and the colours in the water. Work on the background on the trees and a few more details of leaves over the top to bring the first leaves to life. And that's it. Pretty much finished. You can see the painting, the finished item on my blog. Bye-bye.